the last three days, we have been doing two kinds of problems. On Monday and Tuesday, we were doing problems that involved going from moles to particles or going particles over to moles. And that was represented by this little guy right up here. The other thing that we were doing, that was our Monday, Tuesday stuff. The other thing we were doing was going from grams, which are measured on a scale, to moles, or from moles to grams. And that's what we actually did last night. And that was represented on the big guy up here by this circle. So now we are looking at trying to put it all together. And you'll notice that mole is the intersection of the two different um, two different circles right in here. Okay, that's in the intersection. And what we're going to do is try and figure out how to go all the way in one play. So a little review is at hand, and we're going to do that in just a moment on a second video. And what we want to do first is realize what this little chart means. Again, moles to particles. Moles to particles is done by this arrow, the top arrow. Because we're starting with moles, and let's say we had five moles to begin with. That would go over one as our first fraction. Our second fraction will be what we see in this little arrow right here. And that gets us into representative particles, which are over here. Now, when we want to go the other way to find a number of moles, we are going to be given representative particles. So if we had something like um, 3.9 times 10 to the 24th particles, representative particles, right here, we would have that over 1, and our fraction would be right in here. This arrow would give us our fraction to take us over to moles, which are sitting right here. And so with representative particles on the top to begin with, and then having this guy as our second fraction, we can get back to moles. If we look down here, or look on the left side, what we did just yesterday, we started out with grams. <laughs> Graham's going to moles, and if this thing would stop having trouble, I'd be in good shape. There we go. And that is going to be done with this fraction. And in this case, we would start out with a given number of grams, which would look something like this. 5.6, I can make that look like a 5. 5.6 grams over 1 times, and let's get rid of this little star thing here all of this, that is going to take us from our scale over to our mole bag. Scale, mole bag. And if we wanted to go the other way, we would start out with something like uh, 39 moles of something over 1. And then our second fraction would be right here we would use this arrow to get us back to the mass or grams. And now let's do a couple of uh, nice little examples that will help us do the individual steps, and then we'll do the whole thing together. And that's it for our first video.